With their friend about to be deported, a group of protesters try to break into a holding room to say goodbye. But it was too late for this man, whose face we can't show for security reasons. He was told he'd be sent back to Afghanistan after arriving for an appointment at the immigration office. Protesters and volunteer workers helping refugees are outraged by the decision. I can't put it in words. I'm devastated. I still can't believe he will be sent back to an almost certain death. The deportee's boss even showed up to support him. When people are trying everything to find their way in a new country, learning the language, culture and trying to be integrated, it's very sad that they don't get a chance. The night before, we walked the streets together in the Bavarian town of Bayreuth. He refused extra money on offer by the German government for anyone who returns home voluntarily. They offered me a thousand euros to go back. I said I can't go back. I've been away 20 years from my country. I didn't come here for money. I came here because Europe is safe. He fears if he took more money home, it would make him more of a target in the eyes of the Taliban. With no relatives or friends in Afghanistan, he will be alone there. I'm not a criminal. I'm not an Islamist. I'm not a terrorist. For 26 years I've been living in fear, not knowing what's going to happen. My life is just over. The German government won't comment on individual cases, but stands by its deportation policy. The situation remains unchanged. People seen as a threat, criminals and those who repeatedly refuse to cooperate can also be deported to Afghanistan. I believe this is right and we will continue this practice. But lawyers say the Afghan refugee we've been talking to has no criminal record and cooperated with the authorities. The number of Afghans deported from Germany has almost doubled in recent years and the treatment of refugees is emerging as a key dividing line as the country struggles to form a government. Two years ago, Germany opened its borders to an unprecedented number of refugees. Now, during a shift in domestic politics, the reality is that goodbyes like this appear to be more likely. Ella Callan, Al Jazeera, Bayreuth, Germany.